This is what I call the new best bite in barbecue. You get that crispy crackling pork skin, you get that juicy, flavorful pork belly underneath it. Absolutely phenomenal. Let's get started. What's up guys? I am so pumped for this video. Today we are making crispy pork belly. Pork belly with chicharron, cracklin, whatever you want to call it. This is my favorite thing to make because it's my favorite thing to eat. I'm also making this video because when I wanted to make it for the first time, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anyone making it exactly how I had had it. And I had had it from Big Hop's Barbecue. He's an open fire legend from Texas. And so I hit him up. And he was like, let me give you a call real quick. And he was on the phone with me for at least half an hour, explaining to me the process of how it goes down. And now I'm gonna show that to you guys. So here we have our pork belly with skin on. This is bacon, baby. Just uncured and you got that skin. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is scrape this, okay? You're gonna take a knife, scrape against the skin. But you'll notice there's like a goop that comes off of it. You want to get all that goop off. Once you've got all that goop off, we're going to go ahead and take this and chuck in the fridge overnight. I actually ended up having too many beers in my fridge, so we're going to have to go ahead and drink those tonight. Okay, it's the next day. We're going to pull our pork belly with the skin on out of our refrigerator. The skin is going to be real dry. We're going to cover that with a salt cap. We're going to chuck it in the Gravity 980. Okay, we're going to season the sides and the bottom of this pork belly. The top we're gonna leave completely dry and then we're gonna put some salt on it. I'm gonna put a quick quote of some almond oil. It's a binder only on the sides and the bottom. Start with our base layer of Blazing Star porkin. Honestly, porkin is probably my base rub for everything. The next we're gonna do some coarse salt and pepper. On this dry skin, we want it even drier. We want to pull moisture out. So we're just going to put some coarse sea salt. Now that we got our salt cap on the pork belly and it's all seasoned up on the bottom and sides, let's get our Gravity 980 up to 10. So got some apple wood we're going to throw in there. Top it off with more. Jealous Devil Chunks. Now's a good time to put our temperature probe in. Today we're gonna to be using the Meter Plus. Oh yeah. We're doing pork, we're doing a roast. It is a belly. I'm actually going to set it to 180 because that's when we're gonna take it out and start the next step. Start cook. I'm gonna let that go for about 10 minutes to make sure we get a nice light on those coals. Okay, we got our hopper going pretty well. Let's go ahead and close things up and get it up to temperature, 375 degrees. On the upper rack here. All right, now we can chill out until my meter probe tells me it's time for the next step. About an hour, hour and a half. Okay, let's get a look at this thing. Now let's close up the sides. The point of this is to protect this area as much as we can while keeping the top exposed to the heat and get this crispy as possible. fun. So I ended up setting it at 650 degrees and let me tell you this gravity will go well over 700. The thing is you want to make sure that your deflector plate, a lot of food and debris gets on there, that's gonna burn up. This thing was smoking like crazy but it got that temperature and normally on other grills where you set it to 500 degrees it would take you 45 minutes or so to get the crust you want. This thing 600, 10 minutes, check it out. That's what we're talking about, baby.
there we have it. My absolute favorite thing to cook because it's my favorite thing to eat, crispy pork belly. Check this out. Absolutely ridiculous. Insane. There's nothing better. Nothing better. Thank you guys for watching. You 100% have to have this. I'm telling you, this is the new best bite in barbecue. Hit that like, hit that subscribe.